Ia actually came to us through social media and she wanted to create a place for her kids, you know, a fun place outside of the city and away from the busyness of the city where she can take her kids, have fun, spend quality time with them. She built the place in Rizal because she wanted a place where she could breathe. Not only her, but also her family. And it was an idea she thought of during like the middle of the pandemic uh, when they were stuck in their home. And she realized that she wanted her children to grow up in a place where they could have fun, be free, and not worry about being enclosed in a space and not being able to breathe. Mm -hmm. Another factor that Ia wanted for her home was to make sure that it was reachable from the city. So Rizal was the perfect opportunity for that. But at the same time, she really fell in love with the view. And the view here is breathtaking. It's something that we took inspiration from and it's something also that the design revolved around. Hi, I'm Jilly. I'm the architect. And I'm Lauren, I'm the interior designer, and we are from Iconic Design Studio. Uh, I think what's nice about having both an architect and an interior designer in one team would be seeing everything that needs to be seen. It's really part of our goal to uh, design custom homes. So I would say our design has really revolved around mid-end to high-end residential homes. And we like the process of, you know, designing everything from the ground up and also considering how it looks like on the outside and the inside and how they interact with the space. Yeah. So we actually went into this project with Iconic Construction. We are not exclusive to them. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to working hand in hand with the Iconic Construction in terms of our studio. So one advantage would be it would be so easy for us to bounce off um, ideas with one another. From the get-go, we already know which materials will work which materials will not work, the manner of installation. So it's a very good manner of teamwork that happens when we do work with iconic construction. Sometimes, of course, we need a devil's advocate to keep us grounded in terms of design because with design, you can go crazy. There's so many ways, there's so many things that you want to put into the design. But having the contractor work with us from the get-go helps us ground the design, make it more realistic. It helps us also work within budget. And um, at the end of the day, we have the support support that we need from the technical side as well. Okay, so when we visited the site, it made me a little nervous because of the shape of the lot. It was trapezoidal and the site was also very steep. It had like a, it had a lot of limitations on the setbacks because the front is really narrow and then it opens up wide to the view. But we couldn't put the house where the wider area was because it was too steep. Mm -hmm. and it would block the view, right? It was a very challenging puzzle to solve. So as you'll see later, there are three decks. So the first deck framing the length of the house, and then the second deck where adults could hang out, eat, there would be like a table there for them to, to share their meals and for her to be able to watch her kids. And then the next deck would be like a place for them to put a, put a camping tent and to also be more connected to the playground as the bridge is connected to that deck. So what people think about architecture is it's just the structure, right? But for me, what's most important is how the people move inside. So actually, we are manipulators of movement, mm -hmm. right? We think about the flow of the spaces inside and how Ia will walk throughout the house. So she told us that she wanted an outdoor kitchen, but something that would be near an indoor bar and then something that would be near the deck and would just essentially have a view of everything because she has four kids and she has to see them at all times. <laughs> right? So it's more of knowing how to divide spaces beautifully, not just with walls, but with elements that would blend the space nicely together. Another concept of this house is that we want to make it look like it's floating a little bit. So if you look at it from the back, you'll see that it seems like it's growing out of these plants and these hills and then the natural terrain, right? Because we want it to really look like it's outside the city. Mm -hmm. 
So when we were doing the design process, we had to make sure that we would work with the materials that could be used for outdoor and those materials that are very durable for everyday work, especially with a lot of kids in the house, a lot of cooking to be done, a lot of entertaining. So one of the materials that we particularly needed would be centered stone an engineered stone, and we found that in Neolith, which is a Spanish brand, or it's made in Spain. And what we particularly liked about it is that it mimics natural stone, but the durability is unmatched because anytime Ia bakes something fresh from the oven, she just puts it on the centered stone and it will not mark. No water stains, uh, you can chop on it. And at the same time, we used Neolith for her outdoor bathroom as well. So. For us as designers, that made us excited because we were able to achieve continuity from inside and out. We were so happy that Ia also liked muted colors. So we had like an array of these muted textures and colors like the light brick and this beautiful light gray counter as well as the very neutral floors. And um, contrasted with the blacks, the grays, and the silvers. You'll also see the accordion windows behind us. So it was one of the uh, design elements that we wanted to incorporate. You'll see that it's at the corner so that we blur the boundaries again between the inside and the outside. So uh, it closes the house when you're not using it, but when you open it, then it becomes like an outdoor bar. Initially, the plan was to just have a place where the kids would enjoy, but not just the kids, because of course, parati kasami mga magulang. So it needed to be a place where the kids could enjoy, but also the adults would be able to enjoy the space and the place. But the priority really was the playground for the kids. And then the house, the reason it being just a tiny home, I didn't want people to make kulob inside the house and to hide inside the house, which is why I wanted it to just be tiny and for it to just be an open space where people would just hang out and be together outside, enjoying the fresh air, enjoying the sounds, sights and sounds. Yeah, so that's, uh, that was primarily the intention and the inspiration um, in this project. How do I like it? I love it! I super love it and what makes me love it even more is that the whole process of building the home and the whole process of working with, with Iconic and the team, it was just so easy and that's what makes me love it even more because I can enjoy the space without looking at areas and be like, nakakainis sana ganito, nakakainis sana ganyan. Like I, I, I'm here living in it and loving every part of it. And it really is important that as you build the house, you still have to be very um, active in checking the place out, seeing how the progress is. Um, because there were also times wherein I would come here and I'd be like, because if buy you what you see in the in, in the pictures, in the design, in the blueprint, in, in the layouts and the plans, about what you see there, and about to when you're actually moving around in the space. So it's important because if you can spot these things early on, it's easier to fix rather than discovering it when you're already living in the house. And it's like, major, major, pala. Can we knock that wall down? But wag naman ganyan. So at least you know, because I would come here every so often, I'd I'd see things and be like, oh, I love this. Oh, teka lang. Ito ba? Is that is this how it is? Or are we gonna like chop this pa? Or can it be lowered? So little little things like that, I feel, was very helpful in. In, uh, in building this home because I think it it saved me from future headaches. So, so the reason why I wanted to build this home and I wanted it to also be available for other families is because I wanted to have a space where families could enjoy the place, the privacy and the air and just their time together. Where, you know, Pinoy's we love to cook. So that's why I wanted to have an outdoor kitchen so that, you know, while the parents or the adults are preparing the food, the kids are playing in the playground and you don't feel like one's being cut off from another. I like that everyone still feels together, whether you're in the playground, whether you're here stuffing your face with food or whether you are having making coffee at the bar, whether you're watching TV or, or baking something in the kitchen, you all still like you all feel like you're still together. And for me that's really what was the most important thing about this space. What was lovely about the collaboration? 
was initially, because I was in such a rush in putting this house up. And so I was drawing, I was a architect, na ewan, I wanted something like this. And then I sent it over to them and I was like, okay, so this is what, I, this is what I'm looking for. And of course, them being the professionals came back with a much bigger and a much better idea. And so it turned out to be more beautiful than what I had initially planned. I love you, Iconic. <laughs> so after finishing the project, stepping inside the house again made me want to feel like a kid. <laughs> I, 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 wanted, I wanted to relive my childhood somehow in this place because it was really designed and built for Ia's kid and for her to be able to spend quality time with them. And for me, you know, I'm an adult now, but the kid in me is excited to try the trampoline, swing on the swing, slide on the slide, and have sleepovers with my friends. So hopefully that kind of feeling is a good indication that we did a pretty okay job <laughs> um, achieving what Ia wanted to achieve for her family here.